Hello, so once again, dito na naman tayo. Oh. So for our RC, it's this one, and our P, it's mean divided by RC. So we have max is 61. Ito yung coordinates natin, yung magtatay natin siya. So let's grab this one. This one times um, zero point six zero five nine seven. Um, one point five uh point five eight two times zero point. Six zero five nine seven. So let's try to see. Point nine five eight six. So on our first part, um, tapered yung wing na aircraft natin. So we use the mean air force coil. Na tas imo multiply natin dun sa ordinates natin to have the ordinates of the airfoil itself, yung mismo length niya. Then after that, yung radius ng front part natin, yung circle sa front part, later on makikita nyo, multiply rin natin dun sa MAC para same yung ratio niya. We do this with the symmetrical airfoil and the asymmetrical airfoil. So we will just copy the ordinates no mismong airfoil natin yung naka MAC na then we use spline and we paste yung ordinates then we just hit the enter On that front part yan yung line na sinasabi natin yung radius na nasa ilalim ng ordinates then we just create a circle kung ano ba yung ratio na nakuha natin or yung number yun na nandun then we just trim and we make sure na yung lines ng airfoil natin is tangent dun sa circle. And same with the back part. Pero sa back part, gagawin natin yung two-point circle. End-to-end. -end. Hindi na natin siya kailangan i-measure pa. So for asymmetrical, ang pinagkaiba lang nila, meron tayong given na angle. We will use arctan, then yung given na angle, para makuha natin yung angle of inclination. Then after that, we will make a circle, and yung line na ginawa natin is yung radius. On this part, uh, ginawa lang natin is insert table and insert natin siya from an Excel file.
así. Es este. So from there, sa insert table, we select yung from an Excel file. Then sa select natin yung sheet. Then we will select kung ano lang yung cells na sakop. Now make sure na sa Excel file, naka-alay na kaagad yung numbers. And yung mismo format. Yung font style and everything else kung naka-bold man or hindi. Then, scale nyo lang. Then, i-plot nyo. The same goes with the asymmetrical airfoil. Ilagay nyo lang. Just name it. Just scale it. Then, insert nyo lang yung table. Then, lagay nyo lang yung cells. Just scale nyo yung table. Then, plot it. And there we go. Thank you for listening.